It all started back in 1983 right here at Rust Studios. So my gangster name was Egyptian Lover. Let the women know that I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. Me and Uncle Jim Lerman went to the studio, made Dollar Freak, and yes, yes, yes. And then I came to this studio and made Egypt Egypt and B goes boom, and what is a DJ that can't scratch? We pressed up Egypt Egypt, and when I finally brought it to the Uncle Jim Army dance, it was at the sports arena with 10,000 people. And I put it on, and I was like, I can hear my name coming out these speakers, and I'm not saying it. The record is saying it. When I first came to the studio, and they had the piano and everything set up, I said, I need something to sound like that. So I took that sound, I kind of changed it up to the going. I went. And that was my own version of the Planet Rock Craftwork style. And I just kind of went with it. Yeah, so I went to the studio, did that with the vocoder, did the Prince breathing. That's how it all became. This right here is my baby, the 808. When I first heard Planet Rock, one of my friends was a drummer, and he said, that's a drum machine. I'm like, what is that? He says, it's a machine that make drum beats. That I gotta get me a drum machine. A friend of mine came from New York, named Africa Islam, and he said, yeah, man, I was in the studio when they made Planet Rock. I'm like, oh, you know what drum machine they use? He said, yeah, it's called a Roland 808. He gave me a brand new one in a box. I brought it home. I programmed the whole thing full of beats. And I just went for it in the studio like this. Now in my head, I'm thinking of what the dancers are doing and when they would want a change in the beat. So I'm actually mixing in my head while I'm listening to the beat and feeling like when it should change up. And I'm kind of singing to myself and then, you know, just different songs in my head. That's how we did it. <laughs>